So I haven't got anything loaded into this yet, so I need to do this. So I'm going to select my main hip controller here and reload left. And all the attributes that are listed or can be uh, connected appear here. So I want to hook up the IK spline. So I'll select that first, so then I can reload right. And then we'll have this all ready to be connected. So as I mentioned earlier, I want to use the Y axis here to control my role in my IK handle here. So first and foremost, I need to go through my list and look for the option where it says rotate. And I'm interested in this rotate Y. Okay, it's nice. So then on the right hand side, let's look through until I find the roll option. There it is. Roll. So then I'm going to basically connect these two up. How do we do this? It's easy. Just select rotate Y and then you select the roll option here. So what I've done effectively is connected these two up and you can see how my roll attribute here has gone yellow which indicates an incoming connection. Okay, so just minimize this and let's test it out. So selecting this guy, I can in the x-axis, yep, that works. Y and then Z works. And Y, yes, Y works nicely. Now I do this for good reason because uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the chest controller. And you could set up just straight up orientations, but you'll quickly realize that when you rotate this in a traditional way uh, that it actually doesn't rotate or twist the attribute up here. It's just one of these quirky things about the IK spline. I'm not going to go into explaining it too much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate this hip control. That's what I'm going to call chest control. And I'm going to snap it into position Here. Now it did snap. Uh, if you hit V on the keyboard, it will automatically toggle between point and snap. Or you can just switch it on here. It's really up to you. Here's my chest controller in position. I'm going to go F9 on the keyboard. And I'm just going to change this handles here by reversing the order. Or whatever. This is all just aesthetic again. Doesn't really aid anything. Again, you can spend hours doing this. But essentially what you do is you're just trying to make it these handles easy to select. Never do. Okay, so it's nice and easy to select. So F8 on the keyboard to get into this mode again. And of course I need to Freeze my transforms and we're ready to go. Alright, so this one I will just basically set up the twist option and none of the other options yet. I will, in another tutorial, look at some advanced spline IK setups. Um, but essentially, I'm going to hook this up to my twist attribute of my IK handle. So bringing up my connection editor here. I'm going to reload my left with the selected controller which is my chest controller. I'm going to look in here for my rotate Y one more time. And this time I'm going to hook it up to my twist. Which is nice. So I'll close that off for the moment. And looking at my outliner here I actually want this to be the child of my um, hip controller here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just middle mouse drag this into my hip controller so that when I sort of rotate this around this will be affected. Now funnily enough the way I've set it up with connecting it with the roll down here and the twist up here if I hadn't done that and I went ahead and just rolled this from left to right this actually would not move. It would stay put. 
and what at a point the bone that it underlies it would uh, not move. All right. So now I'm going to connect or basically change some parent-child relationships here. So I'm going to get my two arms controllers here, middle mouse, drag them onto my chest controller, like so. So they are now the child of my chest control, which in turn is a child of my hip control, which basically means that if I stick my hip controller here, everything else moves. This one, everything else moves. And of course, these ones here move as well. All right, it's quite nice, and we're almost getting there for the end of this tutorial. So I'm going to on the ground create a main controller as well. So I'm going to go to my create, and I'm going to go to CV uh, this curve tool by hitting the hot box here, and I'm going to change its options to linear. And what I'm going to do is just create a big arrow on the ground. So I'm going to use the grid constraint or grid uh, snap the grids here, and I'm going to create one point here, one point here, one point here, and one point here. So what I'm doing is just creating a big, big arrow on the ground, basically, and just connect the last one here, and that's it. So I've got a big, massive arrow, and I'm just going to scale this. To fit. And this basically is here to indicate the direction of this guy. So I'm going to get F9 and just sort of move it over here a bit. So it's like my main controller. So I get F8. Okay, to get out of this mode. And I'm going to freeze transforms. And I'm going to call this main control. And essentially, this will be the parent of my leg controllers and my hip controller so what I can do is just middle mouse drag it down to there so I'll better move this around like so all right Not bad so just gonna do some more tidy up here so before I was talking about uh, locking and hiding my scales and just hide my visibility. Now, instead of having to do that one at a time, what we can do is just sort of control shift select each one of my controllers here, thus selecting them all. And I can do this a big blanket at once. So just shift selecting, or just no, just click dragging, selecting those three. Right click and do lock and hide selection. And finally, the visibility, just hide selected selection. And for my controller down here, I'm just going to lock and hide. My scale and visibility. I'm just going to hide. Like so. It's nice. All right. So I might just create one more controller for the head. Usually for the head, if you just go to your front view, what I'm going to do is just going to create one more curve, like so, and I'm just going to go to F9 mode and quickly edit that. So I'm just going to fit around my head, like so, and F8, and then I'm going to uh, snap it into position with the point snap to my head bone. If we go to perspective. Like so Let's scale this up a bit. Okay, and I'll just go F9 one more time. And what I'm interested in doing is just pulling these forward. Just to snap. And I should just have something that's going to be the basis of my head controller. Let's call this head controller. And this one I'm just going to set up. So if I freeze it first, modify freeze transforms. 